Hello friends, Coach Chris here. Hope you're having a great day. Thanks for stopping by the channel. So today I wanted to, to wrap up our winter clothing, our, our cold weather system series uh, by putting it all together. And I really appreciate all the support you guys have shown me throughout the, the winter clothing series. So I wanted to, to do sort of a capstone and show you what it all looks like, all the pieces put together. Now, a, key, a few key concepts of your, uh, your cold weather system that you wanna keep in mind is, what actually keeps you warm are the, the number of layers uh, and the, the warmth of the air around you. So the more layers that you have on, the more opportunity you have to make a pocket of warm air that's sort of like your Cancun beach uh, that's keeping you warm all around you. Any exposed skin that you have to the air uh, has no opportunity to make that warm air pocket. Uh, and so really that's probably just gonna be your face, although these days we're wearing face masks, so there's really hardly anything going to be exposed to the air. Uh, the second thing is that you want to strategically uh, put on your layers so that you have enough to keep you warm, but not too warm to where you'll sweat. Because if it's cold outside and you sweat, that can be dangerous where your sweat then freezes and makes you colder than you were before. Uh, so, uh, which is sweat's purpose. When you sweat it, it's to also to, to help cool you down. Uh, so one rule of thumb that we talked about in Boy Scouts back in the day is that when you start a hike in the cold weather, you want to start a little cold because you're going to build up that body heat as you burn calories. So start a little cold and you'll warm up as you go. So with that said, as you can see, I'm in a t-shirt and my REI uh, lightweight base layers. So we'll start with the rest of my base layer go ahead and put that on and what I like to do is actually uh, and I also have my RF Scott winter socks on right here as you can see uh, what I like to do is I like to once I have my base layer on here I like to tuck my my initial just t-shirt base layer into the pant portion of my base layer to, to sort of make a onesie uh, you can get onesie base layers. Check out the base layer video for, for more details about base layers. So now, now I'm set, I have, a, I have a base layer on. I'm good to go. It, it's honestly the most overlooked uh, section of your winter or your, your warm clothing system is that, that base layer and it's critical. I have a really thin one on and I tell you, it does a lot of good. To, to keep me warm, especially in the sun here. It's quite a sunny day, although it's, it's like 38 degrees outside. It's, it's nice in the sun. So my second layer is gonna be, uh, the, we didn't do a specific video on this, but this layer is probably gonna be the most versatile. I mean, you can wear a sweater, uh, cardigan, another long sleeve t-shirt, short sleeve. This, this runs the gambit, uh, and it, it's really the most variable layer that you have. Uh, is what you put over that initial base layer. Here I have just a nice um, L.L. Bean, just very comfortable, honestly, long sleeve shirt bordering on sweatshirt. And I love it because it's comfortable. And therefore, like, uh, like I keep saying, if it's comfortable and you like it, makes you feel good, you're gonna use it. And that's what's important is uh, getting gear, getting equipment, clothing that you're gonna use. Uh, otherwise don't get it. So we'll put this layer on and it's gonna get warm in here real fast for me. <laughs> I'll be sweating by the end of this for sure. So now that I have this layer on, uh, what I like to do is I like to uh, get my, my outer layer pant on, whether that's uh, I have snow pants, so at this point I would put on snow pants, or I'm just doing a casual, uh, we're, we're pretending we're gonna go for a hike or a walk outside, and there's nothing wrong with jeans. Jeans, um, if you're gonna be in an environment like skiing, or if, if you're in a damper environment, jeans don't do great, because uh, they're a lot of times just cotton, and cotton really sucks when it gets wet. Uh, and so I would normally wear a belt with this as well, that gives me more options to you know, put a, a knife or, or multi-tool on my hip, and have this, you know, just a little bit more secure, but uh, that this is what I like to do. So I wear jeans if I'm just going on like a casual walk. Otherwise I have uh, some actual REI hiking uh, pants that do a lot better. Uh, they're a little bit more synthetic. They're a little bit more slick. 
so they won't catch the wind as much as, um, as jeans. Uh, but jeans are readily available, they just don't do well with moisture. So keep that in mind if you're going to be in a damp environment. Uh, try to wear something other than jeans. Uh, so here we have a, a nice base layer going on and I'll zip that up real quick. My next layer is going to be like I did a whole video on my vest. Now this, you, I'm, I'm now fully clothed. I, I can go anywhere, do anything, and oftentimes I will hike in just this because uh, again, I will be a little cold when I, I start a hike in this outfit, but with a hat and maybe a scarf and some, some base layer gloves, uh, I'll be good to go. I don't need an exterior layer to this because then that will make me sweat. Uh, so this is perfectly fine. Uh, I, I like this look, I, I, I feel good, and I feel comfortable, say, going to the grocery store, or doing any sort of functions with this level of uh, protection. Now, uh, the next layer that I'm gonna put on is my scarf. And the reason I, I put it on at this level is because I have some exposed zippered areas here that I'd like to tuck this under so that it's nice and out of the way. And I can tuck it into the L.L. Bean shirt. But sometimes that's just a little, little too bulky because it's then pushing out that uh, L.L. Bean shirt. So sometimes I will zip up the L.L. Bean shirt just to the level of the, uh, of the scarf. Uh, so the zipper isn't pushing against my skin because of the scarf. It's only zipped up to that level. And then what I like to do mostly is tuck it under the uh, vest. So now my neck is protected, the wind can't get in. As you've seen, I now have, uh, I have my shirt tucked into my base layer. I have my base layer and L.L. Bean uh, sweatshirt tucked into my jeans. What I'm trying to do is create that airtight, uh, me as an airtight compartment and help those little pockets of air uh, maintain their integrity so that the wind can't get in there and cool me down. Now. Uh, the next layer that I'm going to put on here, like I said, this is going to be my go-to cold weather system. I now have a, have a, this is my medium level uh, warmth winter hat, also known as a toque if, if you're in Canada. And uh, this, this, I'm comfortable in, in this. And also just take a couple gloves uh, to keep my, my extremity uh, digits warm. And I'm good to go. Now, if I'm going to be outside for a little longer and a little more extended uh, time, like a hike or a walk, whew, it's already getting warm with all this on. I now am comfortable enough to wear uh, a light to medium coat. And to be honest, I can go all winter with an outfit like this. Uh, change up some of the, the other layers and uh, change up the jeans or, or anything. But this level of protection is really all I need to get through even winters in Wisconsin. I have heavier coats as we went through in the, the coat section. Maybe if I don't want to wear a vest, I'll just put on that uh, extra layer of coat. If I'm performing a, a different function, uh, like I'm, I'm skiing or, or hiking in the snow, I have those that appropriate gear as well. Um, so this right here is going to catch the wind a little bit more, but it looks nice and it's totally fine to dress uh, in order to look nice here. It has this zipper protection because that zipper is a, a weak point on anything that has a zipper. This is also protecting my vest zipper, which was a weak point that was previously exposed. And now I'm good to go. So I have, let's see, I have two layers on, uh, on my legs. I have one layer on my feet, which I may or may not change up, but RF Scott, has, it's a good sock. Um, I would wear a layer on my hands here. I can fit these in my nice deep pockets on my Michael Kors jacket. Um, one layer on my head. You can see that this just fits nicely, comfortably, uh, maintains the integrity of my, uh, my neck area that would normally be exposed, which would allow wind to get in there. And my torso, which is really gonna to radiate heat throughout my body, it has one, two, three, four, five layers on. Uh, and those five layers are creating those pockets of air uh, to keep me warm. I'm, I'm already starting to sweat. Uh, it's 
what is it, 67 in my apartment, and I'm starting to sweat. So, like I said, about 70% uh, of the heat in your body is lost through the top of your head, so immediately I feel cooler taking off my hat. And again, we'll just do it in reverse. So I've taken off my gloves, taken off my hat, take off my coat, just as a review. Now take off my vest, exposing my scarf. The whole reason for this exercise is to just get you to start, you know, thinking in layers, uh, understanding how to, to set up a system that you're going to feel good in, uh, be comfortable and enjoy the outdoors. So here I have a base layer on. Don't get too excited. I'm still clothed and taking off my sweatshirt layer. Now I'm nice and comfortable again with a t-shirt and my base layer. And honestly, you could switch up uh, in this combination. I like having the t-shirt against my skin because it's a nice, comfortable t-shirt. Uh, and then I put this base layer on over top for that extra layer of protection, but you can switch it up. I could put this base layer on and then something on over top of that. Again, uh, Thanks for all the support that you guys have shown me for the, the winter clothing series, uh, your own cold weather protective system. Uh, please let me know what you think about this video in the, the comments below. Uh, thanks for, again, all the support. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hope you have a great day. Coast to Chris out.